This is the Video Game Votary. Show your support and hit subscribe right now. What's going on, Video Game Votary Vanguard? It's your boy, the Video Game Votary, here with another episode. So, at the time of the release of the PS5, there was a couple accessories I was looking to pick up. And as you guys know, when it was time to pre-order, which was last minute, pretty much for everybody, unless you were an insider at GameStop, Walmart, Best Buy, what have you, you were there amidst the madness, you were able to kind of if you were lucky, get first dibs. But somebody like me, I found out last minute. Thanks in part to a lot of you guys, my friends on my Facebook page. If you don't follow me on Facebook or friend request me, make sure you go hit that uh, follow button, send me a friend request. Link is in the description. So let's go back to launch day PS5. So when I go to pick up my PS5, well, actually prior to that, during uh, the pre-sale day, they had different um, bundles available include controllers, charging station, things of that nature. I reserved a charging station, and for whatever reason at the time, I didn't reserve the headset as well as the camera for more than one reason. One reason being, obviously, the price tag. That was something that jumped out. That would have easily sent me over eight nine hundred dollars But once it got to launch, I realized, you know, it's something that I feel like I wanted. The headset, I definitely wanted to upgrade to match the new tech and the new uh, generation of gaming as far as the sound is concerned. So thankfully, when launch day came, I was able to pick up the headset. Um, I also pre-ordered an additional controller. So I was thinking they're probably going to have cameras available, so I don't need to rush on that. But I was definitely wrong. During the pandemic, a lot of stores, they're limited stock on consoles, games, you name it, especially GameStop. So it was one piece of equipment that I left off and I definitely want it. And I just recently picked it up. I was able to locate it. So to find out what that is, sit back, subscribe, catch the vibe, find out next. Okay guys, welcome back. Before we get today's video started, if you're a fan of video game content, convention coverage, pickups videos, live streams, and much more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell, turn on the notifications so that you'll miss a single episode. And as always, we upload every Tuesday and Thursdays at 4 p.m. right here on the Video Game Vote. All right guys, so here is the Sony PlayStation HD webcam, specifically for the PS5. I wanted to actually get this on launch day, but they didn't have any more in stock. Uh, didn't find one at GameStop. And to find one at Best Buy, so I decided to pick it up. Compatible hardware, PlayStation 5. Personalize your gaming, your gameplay sharing. Up your game, step into the spotlight with Smooth Shark, full HD, full HD capture. 1080p HD capture. Capture every unmissable moment and sharp 4 HD picture quality, background removal tools, take center stage in your gameplay creations, built-in stand, set up quickly with a compact design that can be positioned above or below TVs. So let's get this baby open. All right, I'm gonna open this box up. I actually thought for a second this may have been already open. I don't look like it has because normally these cords are tied in close together. Well, I guess not because it's connected. But there's the camera. Got your HD camera directions. That's pretty much it. So just taking a quick look at the webcam here. Got two lenses on the front there. Here's your foldable stand. You look right there, it's a Sony right across the bottom. The cord is built in. And this, uh, is this, this looks like a regular USB, like a 2.0. So, I mean, either way, it's still proprietary to the PS5. And it, you can't really see because of the camera, but it's a PlayStation symbol on each side of the camera there. There you go. That's it. Let's look at the stand. I'm gonna set it up right on my PS5. Just gonna stand up a little bit more. And that's it. Not really big. 
um cool thing compared to the series x you can kind of use any usb webcam but it's only makes you use theirs but i'll tell you what as far as streaming you're able to get, for the most part get a full stream experience without turning on the computer and all that stuff and sitting at the work area so i think it's kind of cool to kind of be relaxed on the couch and still be able to stream and give a good quality okay guys so i just want to talk about a couple of reasons that made me want to pick up the hd camera for the ps5 one um after having the ps4 for quite some time and realizing that i needed it for the vr after i got more into it and looked more into it and i wanted to get the vr i was kind of wishing i had purchased the camera and then it kind of became hard to find it just i don't know why they just weren't readily available and then people that had them they boosted the prices up very high astronomical so of course when i went to gamestop and i realized they didn't have any launch there i was a little disappointed and i've been checking gamestops all around since the release of the ps5 i've yet to find any, any stores i called around couldn't find it and luckily i was able to go on best buy and they had them available so i went over there and picked it up now the reason for me purchasing it is because one one reason being um with the new technology and the way my game room is set up it's not that it's a big deal but sometimes i don't always want to go over to my computer set up the stream and all of that i'd much rather be comfortable in my new recliner if you haven't seen that video that came up last week they're going note right there you can check it out right after this video i'd rather be comfortable in my recliner have the headset on and just stream sitting right in front of my tv i think it's obviously a better picture i got a 75 inch hd 4k tv so it's great to play on there not saying nothing's wrong with my gaming pc or my gaming monitor but i'm just more comfortable in my recliner in front of my big screen tv which i bought specifically to game on so i wanted to take advantage of that not to mention i think it just makes the streaming process a bit easier i mean you know I'm a normal consumer just like you guys. I go out and work. I got two jobs. All of that, just like you guys. I'm not getting paid from YouTube, although I work hard to bring this content to you guys. I'm not getting paid to be doing all that and have a astronomical BGE bill or not BGE, but gas and electric bill, I should say. BGE is here in Baltimore. But it makes the streaming process a bit easier where I can kind of only have that stuff powered up as as opposed to having that powered up the pc the lights all that things all those things play a role so i figured that would be a much easier process i can just basically turn on the ps5 put my headset on turn on the camera you guys can see me and not to mention i can stream straight to twitch or youtube whichever i choose and that's going to be i'm going to cover that in a uh, later episode and i'm going to go more into detail about streaming on the new gen consoles versus prior generation consoles and to me it's a little bit easier not a great exp not too much it's not as good as experience is obviously if you got the full setup but it still is a great experience that you could bring to your viewership and it's just a good experience overall so that's what led me to pick up the hd camera probably amongst other things but that was the main reason for getting it so after watching this video i'm curious to know down in the comment section one if you did pick up ps5 is this one of the accessories that you picked up two after watching this video what do you think about the camera what do you think about the quality and is it something that you feel like you want to invest in in the future so i just want to thank you guys um also just just the quality in itself i think that the camera itself is it's a normal build quality it's not over the top but they also not you know trying to break your pockets it's only 60 bucks um it comes with a kind of flexible stand as you guys can you know see when i did the unboxing kind of show the camera you can get a good idea of the build quality but for 60 dollars for you to stream especially if you guys out there don't have any further equipment to stream or uh elgato capture card or usb mic for your computer or a proper computer to actually stream which is important you can't stream unless you have a certain great computer if not it's going to be really slow really laggy it's going to be a super bad experience for you guys not to mention for your viewership so that was another reason that i decided to pick it up and it took and actually probably for some of you guys if you don't have that thousand dollar fifteen hundred two thousand dollar pc that's definitely an option for you guys especially if you're looking into streaming and actually having yourself um ready to be seen to your viewership you know 
you can obviously stream from PS4 and stuff like that and just have your gameplay. And you can, if you got your mic connected, you can obviously have your sound. But sometimes, you know, your viewership want to see you. They want to see your live reactions to the game. And that's just part of the streaming process. And I think a lot of us out here just enjoy watching that. So that was another reason that led me to pick it up. Okay, guys, and that was my review of the Sony PlayStation HD camera, specifically for the PS5. Now this was a great piece of equipment. If you enjoyed the review, make sure you drop a like, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on notifications, so you don't miss a single episode as we upload every Tuesday and Thursday, right here on the Video Game Votary at 4 p.m. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching, take care. Thank you for watching. Follow me on all social media platforms at Video Game Votary.